So yeah, they can load the weight up because look at my ring. Motion. What type of shit is that? Is that how you have sex? How could you have sex like that, don't you? You mean I think you're doing something and the girl's fake moaning, so you don't like the shit at all. And you're gonna doing something, you ain't doing nothing like that. Look, set it up. Everything needs to be set up different for everybody's wins. Boom, boom. None of this shit. Quit that shit. None of that. Long strokes. Long. <laughs> All right, now we're gonna do the incline bench. We're gonna do five sets of five. I'm gonna show you a little trick. When I do the incline bench, I make sure that the bar lines up just the outside of my shoulder. So literally, you'll see. So that's a good hand placement. Going wide out like here, you're not in a safe position and you really gonna put too much stress and tension on your shoulders. So like I said, I literally go right outside my shoulder and I push it about right here. So immediately what I do, I take a deep breath in, suck in, my feet are planted, everything's tight, I lift it up. As soon as I lift it up, I let, I'll at least hold it for a second, let my body adjust. Squeeze and retract my shoulder blades down and back, come down, forward and straight. See how my arms have to fly out? That's what hurts you. Although it will help the chest more, but that's what hurts you in the long run. So like I say, when you have the strength, arms come straight down, touch your chest, and press it straight up. That is a full range of motion, perfect form. You don't need to be, no, no. None of that crazy shit that you be seeing, you don't want to do none of that. Come down, control, up, come down, control, up. Incline barbell bench, let's get to it. All right, now we're gonna do some pull-ups. You can do chin-ups if you want, but I recommend pull-ups. And you don't have to go super wide. If you can see, same thing with the, the incline bench. Make sure your shoulders are outside the width. That way you get a good stretch on your lats and your back is still doing a lot of the work. So what I say with this, what most people do on their pull-ups, they pull it up and end up doing that. So really they turn into a, almost a pullover. What you really want to do is just bring your elbow straight down. Watch this, let me show you. You ain't got to use straps, but I like to be safe. I like to use condoms. So literally take this, your elbows, put your elbows down. Just like that. See how my elbows are going down and my elbows ain't coming up. Look, that's nothing. Elbows down. Just like that. Like I said, we're gonna do three sets. Try to get at least six to 12 reps. And if you can do like 10 to 15 pull-ups, go ahead and add some weight. Don't be afraid to add weight. You add weight, it's gonna make you to stretch more because it's more gravity, more weight just pulling you down. So you can get bigger and stronger. Like I said, I'm using 45 pounds. Then I even use two 45 pounds. I shouldn't have used two 45 pounds because I only got like five reps. But still, just make sure that you overload them muscles. Anyway, let's get to it. All right, and this is gonna be a super set. It's a Morris press, so you grab two dumbbells. Bring your dumbbells down, push up. Now the trick with this, as you're pushing up, literally push the dumbbells together. Let me show you an example. If you just push the dumbbells up, see how it doesn't really activate my chest? Look at my chest, there's, there's no activation. But check me out, when you take the dumbbells and push them together, and then squeeze up, look at the activation in my chest. That's exactly what we're gonna do. We're gonna do 10 reps, three sets. As soon as you're done with the Morse press, you can go to the incline fly. This is an incline type workout for our chest and just an overall back, super sets. Let's get these games. Squeeze them together. See how I'm moving? Push them together. Push them together. Come down. Push up. Come down. Push up. So you can do them. And I ain't get nothing. That rep, I didn't get nothing. Squeeze it. Come down. Ah. No rest. Take rest long enough to get your dumbbells and keep going. Let's go. Bring it out, hug a tree. Bring it out, hug a tree. Just like this. Don't be doing your flies like this. What the hell is that? You ain't getting no games. Come out, hug a tree. Come out, hug a tree. Control it. Two seconds down, two seconds up. Just like that. All right, now we got back machine. Look at this machine, this is called the Dorsey Flexor, Flex Fitness, whatever the hell you want to call it. But every gym has a machine similar to this, it's just attachments may be different. If yours is anything like this, right here, honestly, I feel this way more like in my mid lats, wherever my trapezius, rhomboids, and all that. This is a really good one, I like this one. And, and the trick is how you set it. Most people get on it, they don't realize it, and they set it like this. 
So yeah, they can load the weight up because look at my range of motion. What type of shit is that? Is that how you have sex? How could you have sex like that, don't you? You in there thinking you doing something and your girl's fake moaning, so you don't like this shit at all. And you in there doing something, you ain't doing nothing like this. Look, set it up. Everything needs to be set up different for everybody's wins. Now you're stretched. So as soon as you grab it, you already flex. The trick with this, grab it, pull it back. Did you see my lats? Look at this. Grab it, pull it back. My lats is already engaged. And what you wanna do is try to bring your elbow just like that. So what you do is bring your elbow just like that, and it's all you need to do, and I promise you, you will make all kinds of gadgets. I mean, that's what it's all about, making games. Look at that. Look at that, that's just so like, I'm a chill. You gotta put some weight on it. But anyways, we got three sets, so we're gonna try, on this one, we're gonna go a lot of reps, so we're gonna try at least 10 to 15 reps. But anyways, like I say, boom, boom. None of this shit. With that shit, none of that. Long strokes, long, <laughs> long. <laughs> All right, on this one, it's gonna be a triple set. Not no single set, or no double set, or no quad set. It's a triple set, so it's three back-to-back -back exercises. We're gonna start off with this, the incline machine. Like I said, I'm sure your gym has one similar to this. If it doesn't, you can just do an incline dumbbell. It's about the same thing. After we finish with this, three sets for 10 reps, we're gonna go over there and do push-ups. Get at least 10 reps every single set of your push-ups, and immediately jump over to a pec deck fly machine, and I'm gonna demonstrate everything, how you should do it on, on all the exercises. Now this one right here, it's always the same thing. Shoulder blade down, make sure it's down and back. Once you got them down the back and you got them tucked, your shoulders are in a safe position. Cause look, look how just freely they are. Now look when I tuck them, they got, they're sturdy. Like I say, you don't need a lot of weight cause you wanna do killer 21s on this. I know it's crazy ain't it? You know I'm crazy, ain't got no damn sense. So what we're gonna do is, after your shoulder blades are down and back, push it up. Do seven partial reps. It's not Cali muscle reps, it's, it's for a purpose. So we're gonna do seven reps. Squeeze your chest. See how my elbows are out? It's cause it's on a machine, that's the only reason why. As soon as you get seven reps, you come all the way down. Seven reps. Squeeze your chest each rep. I feel it in my chest every single rep. Then when you get seven reps, full reps. You're gonna be already exhausted, but you got it. Let's keep breathing. Breathe. Breathe. Squeeze your chest. And immediately, I mean immediately, as soon as you get done with that, you can either do push-ups on the ground, you can do them on a the plate, or you can do what we got. We got actually push-up bars. So we're gonna do at least 10 reps. Then with push-ups, I'm gonna show you a couple of examples. Don't do this on push-ups. I don't wanna see that shit. Put your butt tape. I said, put your butt tape. Don't be doing this. I see it all the time. What the hell are you doing? Don't do that. And the same thing, don't be going no slump back. What you doing? You ain't doing that. We, we, we strong. We're trying to be strong. So keep everything in a straight line as you possibly can. Let your elbows come down just like that and just press up. Elbows come down like that, press up. If you're on the push-up bars like this, don't hyper extend it. Cause look at my shoulders. See my shoulders? That's very dangerous and over, turn, over time and time, eventually you can hurt your shoulders, your rotator cuffs, they may end up snapping to a shit. So don't go that far down. So basically, just like this, down, up, down, up, down, up. Squeeze your chest and triceps. Make sure you get at least 10 reps. If you can't get 10 reps, that's cool. If you're a beginner, get as many as you can for three sets. As soon as you're done with this, you can go to the pec deck fly. I'm gonna show you a secret. Go ahead and grab this so you don't hurt your shoulder. I sit all the time. People wanna sit back and grab that. Look at my shoulder. Look at my damn shoulder. What, what, what the hell is that? That's Snap City, we ain't gonna do that. Be smart, bring this over. Come here, come, come here. No, not you, this. Come here, it comes, it's friendly. Same thing with this. Bring this over. Now we're gonna do something crazy, it's called Killer 15s. Flex your chest, hold this right here, do five reps, one, two. Don't go all the way back like that, you're gonna hurt your shoulders. Stop back right there, three, four, then you get five. Same thing, flex your shoulder. Look, look at my chest, get in on my chest. Look how my chest is flexed the whole time. Look at that. It's flexed the whole time. And then five reps, and then come and do five reps together. And squeeze. Hold for one second in the middle. One second. One second. Ah, one second. Same thing when you walk in the mouth. Look at the footwork. And that's it. We're gonna do one more back exercises. I'm like my homeboy Matt. 
That's a recording. Shout out to my boy Matt Smith. Y'all know he be in most of my videos. But he's gonna record me. This is some of his crazy ass exercise. So if you do this and you sore like I am, next time you see him, kick his ass. Literally, kick his ass. Anyways, yeah, you gotta get his flex on. That's cool. Then we're gonna go do one more back exercise. Probably gonna be something stupid, something crazy. But definitely try it out because they're gang certified. Let's get to it. All right, by this, by this point, you're gonna be exhausted. So this is the kind of little exercise that I like. If I had a hammer, if you got like hammer machines, like at your gym, you really don't need to make this up. But what I got is I got the incline bench. I got it back on the fourth circle. So what I'm gonna do is I got a rope. It's kind of like handle attachments. Go kind of light with it until you get the hang of it. What you will do is you will slide back like this, arch your back, engage your lats, bring this back and squeeze. The feeling that you get, it's not just your lats, it's your whole mid back. This is like perfect. Like I say, keep your chest up. Don't fall down like this. That's gonna turn into more of like triceps and biceps. Keep your chest up, elbows back. Stretch it all the way out, all the way back. All right, we go. Chest up, all the way back. Just like this. We're gonna do three sets of 10 reps. It's a super set. As soon as you finish with that, you will come up straight to the cable. If you want, you can do the ropes. The only reason I don't like the one with the ropes with this is because I feel it more on my triceps than my lats. What you gonna do is stand up, slightly bend over, Keep the lat part out, bring it down and back. Run it back. If you want, you can bend over more like this, but I don't feel, I don't feel the stretch is any different from bend over like that and bend over like that. When your lats are engaged, you're gonna get it. Like I said, we got three sets of this, machine reps. The last super set of lights exercise. Finish strong. 